I can, I, I can never remember which one this is. Is it this one? No. So we went for the, the DJI uh, drone this time. Good afternoon everyone welcome back to the channel. It is Friday afternoon and we're going back making videos. No videos all week. Uh, I've been quite busy with another project that is going on at the minute. A uh, new piece of machinery that we purchased. Uh, not going to say anything about it at the minute, but I'll probably do a video next week on that. And uh, you can see what that is. Uh, if anyone wants to guess what it might be, drop it in the comment section down below. And uh, who knows, I might tell you what it is if you get it right. Um, so, today we're going to be starting some fertilizer. The spreader is on, we're in the 6420, and we're going to get the fertilizer out on our silage ground. It's almost coming up to two weeks now since we cut our silage very dry conditions until just a few days ago now we've had a little bit of rain over the last few days has started now just to wash in the slurry hold on i'll take this camera down and show it to you so you can see slurry is just starting to wash in a little bit it's starting to green up a little bit as well and yeah it's just it's good timing a good time now to to try and get to try and get our, our fertilizer out there's rain forecast for this evening, more rain forecast then for tomorrow, and hopefully, if it all goes to plan, we'll get it all out, we'll get it washed in. Some heat coming next week, the grass will grow. Probably won't work out like that, but this is how we're planning it anyway, and hopefully we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, so, we have got 2.1 tonne in the fertilizer spreader at the moment. Uh, we have to change a few settings on the actual spreader itself. I'll do that. Uh, I'll just set up the GPS and yeah, I'll take you back in a few minutes. Actually, I'll take you along while we're setting up the uh, setting up the spreader. So the first thing we have to calculate is, let's get the calculator up here. Uh, we're going to put on 150 kgs per hectare, which is three small bags of fertilizer per acre. Uh, multiplied by 2.471, which gives us 370 kgs per hectare is what we want to put on. So, to put that on now, let me see if I can remember this. I can, I can never remember which one this is. Is it this one? No, well, let's see. It is calibrated, then it has to be. Yes, here we go. Uh, so, set the spreader. Uh, setting the spreader for 24 meters we're spreading at. Uh, so, we'll keep that like that. Uh, kgs per hectare. So, the last time we were spreading here, we were putting on. 140 kgs per hectare so now we have to just change that so uh, we'll change it now to a three three hundred and we need an eight and a zero so now that should be us now at 380 so that is that set 24 meters 380 and we're going to be doing roughly 10 kilometers an hour in or around uh, yeah so that is that um, calibration factor, we'll change that up, we'll put it at point, uh, we'll put it at point nine eight. Nine eight. And that should keep that fairly close to what we want it to be. And that is that set now, so that should, once we, oh, once we set the air, our PTO speed and our ground speed, uh, that should that should keep that end of the the operation right. So now we're in, we now just have to set uh, our GPS 24 meters. That is that. Uh, let's see now it should open up. There we go, and that is that now set up as well. And it just means now that once we get going, we'll have our setter covered to start and crossing then on the on the straight of the the first straight line across we'll set our a b line and that'll be us good to go and we'll get spreading
that whole operation only took five minutes to get that spread. Uh, dull clouds, so rain looks like it isn't too far away. And uh, you can see it's starting to green up now quite nicely. Uh, fertilizer now, if we get this rain and it gets washed in, it'll it'll do a really, really nice job on this uh, next week. There's some warm weather coming, supposedly, anyway. But uh, yeah, be nice to, nice to see it growing properly. Uh, we've had a lot, a lot of dry weather. Uh, probably more than red the rest of the country and our grass has suffered a lot uh, even grazing you can really see it up there the fields here on the hill we graze cattle on and it is burnt away it's it's almost as bad as it was in 2018 so we need rain uh, but anyway we're gonna head in we're gonna have to fill the spreader again and we keep going we get this done
wheel number two, heading in now to to fill up for the tour time, and then that will do field number three. Uh, it'll not take all the fertilizer to. It'll not take all the fertilizer now in this final fill to to do this final field because it is a little bit smaller. There's about eight acres in it, um, so yeah, we'll have a wee bit left over. But I'll fill it up anyway. I'll take it home and I can spread. There's a little bit of grazing at home that I can that I can put a, a final fill. Uh, the, fi the final bit of fertilizer from the final fill uh, on it. So, um, yeah, let's get in here, let's get our fill up, and we'll get back to the yard. I will try and get a bit of drone footage uh, in the final field, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, let's get our filled. As soon as I pulled into the field to do the last field, the wet stuff started coming down. It has eased off a little bit. It was quite windy there for a few minutes, but it has eased off a bit. Uh, and the rain has slowed a little bit, but it's it's, it's coming down slowly still, uh, which is what you want. You don't want a big slap of rain all the one go and washing the, the fertilizer off the top of the ground. Um, yeah, so all went okay, everything is out. Uh, the rain just means no drone footage. That's the only downside of it. Uh, and I have just bought a new drone. It only actually come a couple of days ago. Haven't used it yet. Got it set up last night, was hoping to take her on a maiden voyage today, she's in that bag and uh, it just didn't happen. Uh, some of you might know from the bag what the actual drone is, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'll wait till I get back to the house tonight, do a little unboxing on the table and I'll just show you the drone, show you what I bought. And hopefully it will improve uh, the videos a little bit to have some drone footage in each video or in some of the videos anyway. Um, the other drone which I'll explain later. Uh, it was just giving me issues, too long to set up, too much time being lost messing around with it and I needed a new one so anyway, bought one. But yeah, that's it. Uh, glad to have the fertiliser out, uh, glad to have it getting washed in and uh, yeah, weeks time this ground should look a lot, a lot greener and uh, grass should be coming on very nice for the second cut. So anyway, back to the yard and if there's anything going on in the yard, I'll video it there. If not, next part of the video may be in the house, maybe looking at the drone. So we'll see see where we end up next. So up in the house now, we're going to have a look at this drone that I purchased. Uh, just turn the camera around so you can see it. Uh, yeah, so I went for the, the DJI uh, drone this time. It's the, the Mavic 2 uh, Pro. Uh, so my previous drone was uh, a Typhoon H. Uh, the Typhoon H now was a lot bigger drone than this here, but uh, this here now should be should have a lot more benefits. It's more maneuverable. Uh, it has a longer flight time. My last drone, twelve minutes here and there, fourteen minutes maybe. Uh, that was it. You run out of battery, uh, and that's that. That's with average flying. You might get a little bit more if you were kind of just hovering a lot, staying still. Um, less if you're flying around the place. So, um, yeah, looking forward to trying this out now and, and seeing what it's like. A uh, really good camera on this as well. It's got a uh, this this year has a, it's it's stated as being around thirty minutes, thirty two minutes, uh, flight time with it, uh, with each battery. And I've got three batteries. Yeah, I bought the the Flymo kit when I was doing so, uh, which gets you extra batteries and gets you uh, this really nice. A leather bag uh, that fits everything into uh, into it, and there's also extra chargers and lots of other bits and pieces as well. That's that's that costs more money if you're to buy them separately. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to getting it getting up in the air. Really good camera on this as well. This has got the it's a, it's Hasselblad is the name of the camera, and yeah, really good camera. Uh, it can shoot up to it's 10 bit color and because uh, anyone that knows anything about drones will, will, will know about this camera so uh, there's rave reviews about it uh do i need this camera maybe not uh, the zoom which was a couple of hundred euros cheaper i probably could have went with it but when i was was going to spend the money i said i might as well spend it on spend the extra couple of hundred and get and get this here i also got the the controller uh I always seen it as a bit of an issue with D DJI. Uh, you couldn't get a controller with a screen on it. And they came out with this controller, was I think it was last year, that had a built-in screen. And yeah, I went for it as well. Otherwise, 
Uh, the other controllers you have to have a mobile phone or a small tablet that you fit in um, and it kind of clamps on connects into it and you use the phone then as use the phone then as, as your screen to, to see what what the drone sees basically and um, so when the see it then became an option it, it, it meant then that this, this drone then was an option for me I couldn't have my phone tied up in the controller because if you want to make a call or receive a call or anything like that you can't do that so easily then once you're using the, the phone to using the phone to 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 to, to fly the drone basically so um back when i was buying my typhoon hitch one of the main reasons why i bought the typhoon hitch rather than go for the dji it was a phantom 4 at the time uh, was the screen it the, the st 16 controller that come with the Typhoon H was uh, was just superior I thought in every way because it had zoom on the screen and just the layout of it a lot of a lot of the controls were very uh, very well laid out on it and easy to use um, and this is pretty much the same there's there's all controls on the front of it the back of it and um, yeah I don't think I I don't I I'd say this is probably a better built controller than the than my old my old drones. It's it's half the size and probably nearly twice the weight. So that's always a fairly good sign. Um really good coverage in this too. It says stated that in in the right conditions you can fly up to eight kilometers away with it and keep signal. So look you're not gonna to want to do that, but it's it's nice to have the option there if if I want to I can put it up in the air and fly down fly, fly down the field and uh, even the drone isn't exactly in sight uh, you can you can maybe check cattle or use it for the likes of that too so I think it will be very useful um, yeah so hopefully the weather is a wee bit better tomorrow and we get to try it out uh, but if I do get to try it over the weekend I'll try and get some bit of footage and we'll just see see how it all works out so that is it for today's video. We've got some fertilizer spread on the side of the ground. Uh, that is done and dusted. Uh, we've had a look at the new drone and not much else to, to be done today. Um, don't know what I'm doing tomorrow, but I'll see if there's anything going on that I can video. I'll video it. Uh, Sunday, I'm thinking about doing the video on the the 50 series John Deo. I've got a, a price list from 1989. And I just think it would be interesting if we'd done a bit of a, a price comparison, maybe, or maybe even price, say, pick a couple of tractors out, price them, uh, price some of the extras on them, and just see how it comes back in relation to the likes of today's tractors and uh, see how much a tractor cost back then compared to today. So it might be interesting to see. So I'm going to do a video on that, try and get that up on Sunday. Um, I'll see how I get on. I'll have to do some of that tomorrow evening. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the sub button, uh, ring the little bell. It doesn't cost anything, just hit the bell and it'll just give you a little notification every time I post a video. Um, hit the like button down below if you like the video, of course, and leave a comment in the comment section. I can't get back to everybody. I do pick some out that I try to reply to. I'll just go maybe on a, a spree of replying back and I could reply maybe to, to 10 or 15 messages in a row whenever I have time. That's what it's all down to. Um, and I try to reply to as many as I can. So uh, all messages, though, I, I, I do read all the messages um, and all the comments and that. And they are, are very much appreciated. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, we will see you in uh, the next couple of days.